All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want, I want to show us something really, really different. That something that, that I know um, a lot of people don't know, right? I am doing this video because someone asked me the question, and when I gave him the answer, and I realized not everyone is aware of this. Anyways, uh, straight to the point. I hope what I just said wasn't loud. So uh, looking at the market, first of all, Bitcoin is at 33,000, holding on strongly. Uh, I hope we don't go back to 30,000 support. So there's a grayscale, um, you know, expiry, blah, 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 GB, GBTC that is coming up on in five days time. Um, if Bitcoin don't go back to, to 34,000, that means we might go back to $30,000. But um, if Bitcoin remains at 33,000, that means it's possible for us to go back to $30,000. But if it goes up to $34,000, that means we might fall down to 32, which is good news. And then before we go back to $100,000. Ethereum is holding on to $2,000, Binance Coin $300, Cardano $1.3, um, $1 I have a buy order at $1 for, for, for Cardano, I have a buy order for XRP at 0 0.5, Dodge, I don't have any buy orders. Anyways, let me show you guys one of, one of, what I want to talk about. So if you look at coin market cap, you would see, you know, cryptocurrency, category, price, you know, for us, seven days market cap and volume. But there is something about this 24 hours volume that, that I notice a lot of traders don't know about. And what it says about the, about the particular, particular cryptocurrency. All right, so let's, let's check something out. So Bitcoin has a price of $33,000, but let's not we'll talk about the price because price depends on, on, our, on what? On circulating supply. But let's, let's talk about market cap and 24 hour volume what does this exactly mean right now hold on before you jump into conclusion you might be like i know what that means but hold on i want to show you something market cap for bitcoin is 600 billion right and for ethereum it is 236 billion dollars and the volume for bitcoin 24 hours volume for bitcoin is 22 billion dollars now this just means the amount of money in Bitcoin that 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 has moved, you know, or that is moving within within 24 hours. And then for Ethereum it is 18 billion, and then uh, but coin market cap doesn't rank cryptocurrencies based on the actual 24-hour volume. It is ranked based on market capitalization. But let's see the cryptocurrencies that have the highest volume the top 10 cryptocurrencies that has the highest volume because volume shows the number of people using it day 24 every day 24 hours volume shows the amount of people using that particular cryptocurrency every day for real time transactions so to do that you have to click um click 24 hour volume as you can see it has changed now the cryptocurrency with the highest 24 hour volume in the world is usdt you see usdt let, let, let me make a screenshot of this and uh i'm going to use this at the thumbnail of the video so usdt is number one that means that means there are more people using usdt than 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 bitcoin so uh the 24 hour volume of usd is 42 million dollars sorry 42 billion dollars and then um for bitcoin it is 22 billion dollars that means the amount of people using usd is two times the amount of people using bitcoin i'm going to talk about that later or should i talk about that in this video yes the reason why people use USDT uh, uh, more is because, you know, it's faster, it's more stable, it's, it's, it gives us, you know, Bitcoin was supposed to be a digital cash, but USDT has obviously become a better digital cash than, than, than Bitcoin, right? And so there are more people using uh, USDT than Bitcoin. There, there are much more people using USDT than Bitcoin itself. Now, of course, Ethereum and then BUSD usdc this this is a stable coin stable coin ethereum classic now this is very funny but it's fine xrp binance coin litecoin and 
EOS. Now, that is, those are the top 10. Hope, 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 hope that's, that's top 10. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So EOS is the, is the 11th cryptocurrency with the highest volume. And then we have anxiety, inf Az, infinite, okay, or oh, Cardano and the rest. Anyways, that is point number one that I want to show you. So this 24-hour hour volume lets you know which cryptocurrency is used the most. Bitcoin is popular. Bitcoin is number one in terms of market capitalization. But Bitcoin is not the most used cryptocurrency. It is USDT. Now that's point number one. Observation of number one I want you to notice. Now, check out something else. The market capitalization of of USDT and the, and the volume it's almost equal the difference is just about 20 billion you see now the of course that means there are more the the the, the liquidity here you know it's it's really really high right that means people are using it right so it's the use case is high that's what it means so the smaller the the difference between this uh, market cap and volume the more useful that cryptocurrency has been within the last 24 hours so now bitcoin is 623 billion and the, the the 24 hour volume is just 22 billion that means the use case for bitcoin every day is extremely low that's because maybe a lot of people are saving it maybe as go 2.0 now Ethereum is extremely extremely low. I wish Coin Market Cap could could create a new section around here that gives a ratio between the market cap and the fluidity of that cryptocurrency. Now let's go to um, Binance uh, BUSD. So it is about seventy percent difference, right? So this is three. This is ten. Uh, USDT. This is twenty six. This is two. The use case is extremely small. Uh, Ethereum Classic, this is 5 and this is 1, that is extremely close. This is 29 for XRP and 1, extremely close. Binance Coin is 48 and 1, Litecoin is 8 and 1, EOS is 3 and 1. I think EOS has the closest, the closest gap, the smallest gap between its market capitalization and its use case. Now, if, you, if Binance should create another section here, that ranks cryptocurrency based on their use case guess the cryptocurrencies that will be that will make number one and number two spots usdt and eos and of course this other this this other cryptocurrency 1.2 1.2 you see so usdt might take number one and then eos might take number two sorry uh, this asia can take might take number one US, uh, US takes number two, and then US takes number three. So that means the amount of cryptocurrencies that have the best use case in the market are just three. USDT, EOS, and uh, Infinity. Right? I don't know much about Infinity. Uh, I don't know much about Infinity. I have to read about it because it's so weird to have your market cap equal your 24 hour volume that means the use case of this coin is extremely large so it could be as a result of a singular person trading this cryptocurrency or it has so much use case and it's very easy for people to use right that's the only explanation but pending when that is done uh just in case uh you didn't know about this it's such metric as this unfortunately Coin market cap doesn't have a way to show you that metric on its own because it speaks volume. It tells you the cryptocurrency that people are actually using. Yeah. It tells you the cryptocurrency that people are actually using. Hodling is not a unique feature about cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrencies are supposed to have use case, and this use case is not being showed by coin market cap. All right, guys, I just thought to let you guys know this uh, because I noticed some few people don't know about it. And if you find this information really useful, please do make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. You know what I'm saying? See ya.